Hello students, good evening to all of you. So I'm going to discuss this question that may be important for J mains exam uh, from electrostat. So we have, we have two charges Q1, Q2, two conducting balls, Q having positive charges Q1 and Q2 respectively. The balls are brought together so that they touch each other and then kept in their original positions. The force between them is. So students, in this problem we have two conducting balls. One ball has charge Q1, other one has charge Q2 and both are uh, identical balls. And let's suppose they are being separated by distance R. So force between them is simply F equal to K Q1 Q2 by R square. Let's suppose this is equation one. Now in the question, the balls are brought together so that they touch each other and then kept in their original positions again. And now the force between them is basically in this question, what is the new force between them with respect to the initial force? So two balls are distance pe hai, on which force Q1 Q2 by R square hai, K multiplied with them. And now we have to take them to the contact. So the balls will, the conducting balls will share their charges and uh, they will share their charges equally because these are identical. It means that like after sharing the charge on one ball is Q1 plus Q2 upon 2 and the charge on another ball is Q1 plus Q2 upon 2. So after sharing the charge on both balls will be equal. So like initially they have total charge of Q1 plus Q2 and they share it equally. So equal separation is like Q1 plus Q2 by 2, Q1 plus Q2 by 2. Now again they are at the respective positions at the separation of R. So the force between them is equal to, new force between them is equal to K Q1 plus Q2 upon 2 uh, like product of charges. So it is square into 1 upon R square. So students, we have to what is the new force between them with respect to the previous one so that F new force is greater than equal to F it is because like here in the initial case in the first case force is proportional to Q1 and Q2 product of Q1 Q2 and in the new case and the second case the new force is proportional to Q1 plus Q2 upon 2 whole square as this Q1 plus Q2 upon 2 is the arithmetic mean and uh, other one that q1 q2 root q1 q2 is basically the geometric mean so arithmetic mean is uh, always greater than or equal to geometric mean so the relation having q1 plus q2 by 2 in the expression of force means equation second so obviously this force is greater than equation number one because in equation one we have like q1 q2 and here we have q1 plus q2 by 2 so with respect to that, the force nu will be greater than or equal to F. 